Hey everyone, this is Jackie Gregnell with the Campaigns Team, just walking through the setup for content marketing programs by, or basically gated content programs, and I'm going to take you through the quick steps to clone and activate your campaign. We're going to clone from the content template, and we're going to clone into a campaign folder. We're going to name it with the subset of the year, 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 year. Um, type, which I'm just going to put ebook, I'm going to say test, but you would put the name of your content there, obviously. Um, and then we're going to put in content marketing. And I like to put epic here. I don't have an epic, so I'm just going to leave that blank for the purpose of demonstrations. Everything related to how to do create these landing pages in the handbook so you can follow along but this is a more verbal way to go about setting it up all right so this program is set up so that the tokens are going to pull down into the landing pages the emails and the automation so that there's a lot less work that needs to be done to get the page live I'm going to go ahead and use some content that was already created for the beginner's guide to GitOps. We're using the character limit checker, so all of this copy has been approved in terms of the character limits. So I'm going to use, go ahead and use all of the copy here to demo that it's going to be placed into all of the corresponding tokens in the Marketo program. And voila, I've now added all of the tokens from the copy document from the character checker into the tokens here. And my next step is going to be to update the registration page URL by right clicking the registration page, URL tools, edit URL settings. I'm going to follow the standard setup of resources type, which is ebook. And then let's say, I'm just gonna put test test. Um, and we're going to throw away the old, let that be. You'll then update the thank you page URL to be the exact same um, as the original one. So resources, uh, ebook, test, test, and then thank you and save. At this point, the l one of the last things you'll have to do is go to actually edit the registration page because as you'll see the when you clone the program up it basically clones up that relation to the template form so you'll write double click on the template or the form and you'll see that right now the follow-up page is listing the content template thank you page you want to choose the thank you page for your actual program. So mine is 2020 ebook test thank you page. So you're checking that you reference the thank you page and it'll be a concatenation of the program type dot the name of the asset. So I'll hit swap and it'll auto save. You can see it in the top right here and landing page option actions approve and close. Now we're almost there. We'll go ahead and go to the content, the downloaded content smart campaign. The smart list is already ready to go. It's referencing the right registration page that's in the program. Great. The flow you also don't need to touch because again, we're using the tokens to make this as efficient as possible. It'll send them the path factory confirmation email. It will remove them from flow if they're at GitLab because we don't need to inflate our program membership with our own employees. It'll change the progress program status to downloaded and then it will use the tokens that are already at the top level which you already updated to make the interesting moment downloaded the content type which in this case would be ebook and then the name of the content and data ch value change it will change acquisition program and again the person source is empty it'll do it'll use content gated content space dash space the content type sfdc this is important because we have a certain list that's in Salesforce, and if you have an, a value that does, is not white paper, report, video, ebook, or general, it will throw an error when it tries to push that record over to Salesforce. So when it says select one, you may not choose from any from an 
option other than these, you must choose from one of these. In this case, ebook is the relevant one, so I'll remove the rest. So again, you can do this when you create your program um, tokens, but just wanted to reference that and make it very clear because that's really important for the syncing. And now I'll hit activate. So this is that smart campaign that I was just going through with the smart list listing for the filled out form on registration page. Now we're ready to go test the live page. Registration page, and we'll actually click to registration page, click view approved page. You'll see it's now the URL that I had, I had created, and it has all of the tokens that were provided in the copy document. So you should be seeing it exactly as you'd want it to appear on the landing page. For instant download, it would be a beginner's guide to GitOps and how it works. I'm going to put in my fake user, and the director, and I get that prop, prop, privacy policy. Again, checking that all of the copy, everything is perfect. Download ebook now. This will take me to the correct resources ebook test test dot think dash view, which is what I changed that URL to be. If this is coming up with some weird tokens, it's because you need to update the form to direct to your ebook follow page. And then final thing is to check that the path factory URL is going to the correct location. You can see in the bottom left corner of the screen that it's not a URL that would make any sense because I haven't put the path factory URL into the tokens yet. So once it once you have that complete, you'd want to click all the way through and you'd want to check that LB underscore email equals your test leads email address. That will make sure that the path factory tracking tracks back to the record that filled up and that's the gist of it.